guys uh, once again this is our live stream um, today I'm making this video to answer one of the questions from one of our viewer this, um, this question was about uh, filtering grid view using text box without button so we'll have a text box on the form we'll type the data into the text box or a part of the data or partial of the data into the text box and we'll be able to filter the grid view okay so that will be performed using what we call text change on the text change of the text box then the the grid view will be filtered okay so uh, remember put in mind that um, this is gonna be on um, ASP.NET um, I'm not gonna be doing it on web and Windows form because Windows form behave completely different than um, than uh, ASP.NET which is website or web form so um, let's see how that works okay so the title of the video will be uh, filtering grid view using text box or on text box change without button all right so um, let's see here um, I have the same uh, website I I've been using for uh, those previous videos um, this uh, website is pretty much um, as you can see the design is very bad okay uh, the purpose of it is just to give the ability to um, do or show what I'm sh um, making the video about so it's not the bad design uh, it's not about anything like that but it's about the functionality of the website functionality of things like uh, filter grid view um, using search button or filter grid view using uh, web um, using uh, you know a text box um, you know without a button so those kind of different things or filter grid view using multiple text boxes okay so that's exactly what the purpose is it's not about design so um, <coughs> disregard the design of the website itself all right so now um, I have this site um, you know as you probably seen it before and here um, it's how it looks when you display it on the web uh, last time I show how to actually search um, you know uh, using multiple text boxes you can use one or more text boxes depending on what you're looking for um, you know <coughs> so today um, um, and also I, I have shown how to search um, in that text box where you can search it and then it show the value in another text box and uh, also you can have it display in labels or you know whatever uh, better for you uh, but today uh, this video will be focusing on entering data in a text box as the text changing in the text box for the grid view to be filled that will be the purpose of this video so let's see how alright so here um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a text box uh, to do that uh, let me see I'm gonna add um, uh, let me add a row uh, above that alright I'll add a row above it so I can add the text box that I made alright so double click the text box to display here so I can get what I want so now now that the text box is here we have to name uh, the text box as uh, something I always do it is uh, very important especially when you are a designer you are a developer you developing things you want to make sure all your stuff are named are named um, according to what they are so that's how other people will be able to interpret or be able to understand what your work is about okay so we're gonna call this text box uh, txt filter grid okay uh, I will call it filter grid all right txt filter grid so that should be good enough all right so now in order for for this text box to filter the uh, the grid view or the database data uh, and display it in the grid view um, without using a button I would have to do a few things with that text box so the first thing I would have to do is to either head here to that little lightning and then under the text change double click it to create a uh, a text change event or I can double click on the text box itself it will create that text 
change event so now if I double click that as you can see it create that um, you know filter grade underscore text change so under there that where we go on to put the code to actually display or filter the grid view alright so before I do that I also have to uh, set that te text box to be auto post back so I click on the text box and head over here over the property of the text box and look for auto post back you see auto post back then I have to t set that to true switch it to uh, from false to true or you can double click it and it switch by itself you know now uh, we have auto post back auto post back on the text box and also a text change uh, event attached to that text box okay so um, let's see um, what's gonna happen now let's go to um, to the code alright so now under here since we already have uh, most of these uh, things there already what I'm gonna do is copy a few things uh, so I don't do much because uh, I'm filtering the same database uh, uh, if the codes already exist as we do as programmer we just copy it you know you don't have to you know try to uh, you know rewrite everything from scratch that will be a waste of time as it is right there so now uh, let's see so we have to write some code in there so we're gonna do a SQL, da uh, SQL data adapter uh, for this one AD equal SQL data adapter and then inside that I'm gonna pass on my query which is QRI and then I'm gonna pass my connection string which is C then now that should be done for this part so now going down I have to pass my connection into a uh, data source and be able to f uh, fill the data source with the data so now to do that I'm gonna say uh, SQL uh, you know uh, I will do a data source of a data set basically data set uh, what do I call that let's say DS equal new data set okay so that's your data set then now you have to fill the data set using the data the data um, adapter so to, to do that you have to do an AD that fill um, then you pass your data set okay which is DS alright so now uh, from that I also have to uh, buy my data set okay I'm going to say um, the grid view. What is it? GV, VG, property grid view. Uh, well, the best way to get that is to go back here and click on that grid view and look for the name of the grid view. Okay, GV result. Okay, because you can easily forget about thing or forget the name you give things. So it's uh, easy to just navigate to that property and click on it okay so now DG uh, I'm going to do data source um, the data source of that um, let's see and I'm gonna make that to DS um, and I'm gonna s also say for that data bind So with this, uh, we pretty much done. But uh, one thing I have to do, I have to name, pass my grid view, uh, my text box in there. Replace that te that text box here with the c the text box that I have uh, the on click. So uh, the name of the text box is that right there. All I do is copy it and then paste it in here. So now we are almost done. But in that case here that would require for us to type the entire value if I leave it with the equal which most people wouldn't want so most people most user would want to type a few character in the text box and be able to filter the grid view instead of having to type the entire uh, things that uh, they have at hand to get the data 
okay so now to, to do that you just replace the, the e4 by light okay and then uh, here you will put a percent which is gonna make it easy all right so now uh, with this I can now go here and refresh my grid my uh, site It'll probably take a little while, but yes, uh, there it is before I even close my mouth. Okay, so now we have this text box available. So now if I type anything in there, and you can see it display and filter the grid view, all right? I can put P and then enter and it filter the grid view. You can filter two ways. You can type, uh, let's say, John, and then you can hit the tab control to have it filter or you can hit enter or you can click outside the text box that's how it looks lose the focus okay so now if you if i click outside by nothing in there you see it filter back it give me everything but once i go here and uh, i type something like john you know and hit enter it brings you john if i say john with a d after it then it should bring me John Doe so if I hit that out if I remove the D um, and say enter and uh, let's say I say John with an S that should give me John Smith okay so basically this text box by itself you give the user the ability to filter uh, the grid view without having to click a button so by uh, typing a few character and then go and it'll filter that let me see if um, the S will be doing that so uh, the reason it doesn't filter just with the S is because um, I have that uh, percent at the end but if I wanted to filter with any character I added so I would have to also add a percent right here so by doing that whatever I put in the text box will cause it to filter everything all right so now if I do an S so anywhere it finds an S is going to filter it all right so let's see it takes a little while because it's looking through the database so what what happened here because of that S I type here it finds an S right here John Smith Peter Smith and also Busico has an S so anywhere it finds an S is going to return this value so by doing that double uh, say a double uh, percent you make it like um, just like you would use a full text index okay just like a full text index uh, like by by typing a partial of the data there it filter for every part in the database from that field that have that value for example if I would um, uh, for example type ER okay for Peter you'll see right there it finds that ER and then it will bring me Peter if I would type Smith or um, TH and then click outside it bring me everybody I have Smith Smith so that's how you would filter the, the, the grid view using a text box without a button okay so I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you like it or if you need something more to be added to that but the main purpose was to filter the grid view okay you filter the grid view using text box without having to press a button so you type the information in the text box okay and then you filter the grid view all right you click outside then it filter the grid view or you just hit the tab p tab it filter it or you hit the enter key you know you type something for example G enter key and then it filter the grid view so uh, let me know if this was helpful to you and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you